Welcome to this new video. This video is about changing currency dynamically in a Power BI visual. So it means that okay, in the slicer, there will be different countries with different currencies. And whenever you select a currency, the total value will be changing and the currency rate will be calculated along with the currency symbol will be shown. So it is almost like this. You, if you select United States, you will be getting a dollar and this amount will be calculated with respect to the current rates for United States. So previously that revenue will be in the rate of Indian currency INR and when you select United States, it will calculate the current rate of United States currency and it will be adding a dollar symbol to the revenue value. So for showing this, you will be using a DAX function for showing the total revenue in that DAX function, you will be writing the revenue in this format value and the format string, you will be writing this string as the format option so here the zero it is an expression and it has a digit in the position where zero appears so wherever zero appears it will be showing a digit and we will be using a dot also the dot usually specifies a decimal placeholder and after the dot how many digits we are specifying how many symbols we are specifying it specifies the how many digits that need to be displayed and before the dot how many symbols we are how many hash we are placing that specifies how many digits we are going to place it before and after the decimal symbol, decimal separator. And if you are putting a comma like this, that means, okay, it is a thousand separator that will separate the thousands. And of course, the hash and zero, it is to display the digit. And before that, you can see the symbol here. And this symbol is a dollar symbol where the dollar will be used. And if you are using another symbol for this, rupee symbol for this, so rupee will be shown. So for getting the solution for this problem, we are going to go to a website, two websites. One website is for getting the currency symbol. And this is a currency currency symbol with respect to the country and another website we are going to get the currency rate exchange rate for the respective country so we will be joining these two tables with the currency symbol here and this currency symbol here these two will be similar and with respect to these two keys we will be joining this and we will be having one single table and in that table definitely one column will be there for the symbol and that column name we are going to place it here so whenever you select a country in the slicer the respective symbol will be showing here and at the same time we will be doing the calculation we will be getting this value and we will be calculating it so getting the correct revenue according to the country select. so we will do the example here we will go and get the data the data needs to be get from the website so we first we will take the symbols and this is the website to get the symbols and here we are having the flag we are having the country name currency code and the symbol so we need actually the symbol so we will take this website and we will get the data from web we will paste the symbol website here you can you can select anonymous as the access web content. Of course, we got the navigator and under the HTML table. So where we got a table one and in this table one, we are getting all the details and we got everything and we will take this so we can select the table one and we can go for directly to transformation. So here in this transformation, of course, we can change this table one to symbol. And then of course, the flag column is not shown. So we can remove the flag column and the country is the current is the column is the I mean the code column is there and the symbol is there. We need to do some transformation and for this you need to make the first row at, as header so you can select the first row as header use and here this code is definitely needed because we need to join this table to the currency rate table and symbol is also needed country is also needed and country currency is also needed country currency is not that much needed but we can keep it now we'll get the next source next source is from next source is from this website and here we are going to get the currency value also with respect to rupee so we will get the new source and that is a bit and we will paste it here so here if you see in this html tables we are getting seven tables under it actually we need all these seven tables because one is for asian currencies the next one is for middle east and almost everything is so you need to select everything and you can give it for transformation so we got all the seven tables now we can take the first table and then we need to do the transformation you need to keep the first row as header and obviously you need to do it for all the seven tables now we are going to to in the first table and in the first table we are going to append all the other tables to this first table so you can select the first table and we are going to append it so we are going to select the three or more tables option and here we will be selecting all the we can select the second one and do an add so we have all the seven tables i think all the seven tables are there so now you can do one thing you can right click and take the reference of this table and remaining everything you can right click and any disable the load so these things won't be disabled 
you enabled in the visualization only the reference of it will be displayed and we can change this entire appended table to country currencies and here we can do one more thing you can select the same table and merge the symbol table the symbol table also to, to this country currency table you can select the merge option and can select the symbol table and we are going to join these two with respect to the clear current currency code and here the currency symbol it is if the privacy levels comes you can ignore it and save it now actually in both the tables there are some values which are missing so the left table that is a country currency table plus 70 are matching with the second one so you can use for Fuzzy matching, but this is the code and the currency symbol will be perfect. So no need of using fuzzy magic. So you can use an inner join so that you will get the data when both the column, both the tables, currency code and the currency symbol are exactly match. So we got the simple table here and we can get the symbol code and the symbol that is needed. That is only needed. We can select the code and symbol. Actually, we need only the symbol, but we will select the code also whether to check whether both the codes are similar or both, both the codes are equal now we can see currency code here we can see both the codes are equal and we can verify it so both are equal so we can take away one column from here and this is the country currency column we are going to load it to the, to the visualization the way we are having the country table currency name the currency symbol the value of the currency and the symbol you can change the table header name i mean column header name also and here the symbol table we are not going to load it so we can unload it enable disable the load only this country currency we are going to load it to the visualization so we can apply and close so the currency table got loaded in the Data set. So we will take the visualization and you can see here country currency table has been loaded in the visualization. So we will take the table visual and in this table visual, we will select a product name. Next, we will select the measure. I mean, total revenue. Total revenue has already created the measure total revenue. That is the sum of purchase revenue. So we will just add that to it. This total revenue is with respect to Indian rupee. You can select the Hindi India column. We are having the total revenue filtered with respect to the Indian rupee. Now we are going to get another column where we are going to display it with respect to other countries so for that first initially we will be selecting a slicer and in this slicer we are going to give the country name so we have all the country names now we need to create a measure the same total revenue with respect to the country names so revenue with respect to the country equals to so we can create a variable here and in that variable we can calculate the total revenue i mean the revenue with the rate with this value so we will create the variable as revenue equals to sum of x and the table name is product table, purchase table purchase table and the expression will be you need to give the expression that is uh, in this purchase table there is a column called revenue yeah that is the purchase revenue and this purchase revenue into this currency value and country so we need to know which country is having this value so whichever country we are going to select in this table in this slicer that country's value you need to so you need to get the value with respect to this selected value so you need to write it as into selected value and inside the selected value you can select the value which you need it so we need the value in rupees we will take that so this is the revenue that is the purchase revenue multiplied by whichever country you are going to get selected that selected country's value in rupees we have stored that in a variable now the next one is just to return it and just format the way you are going to display the message because you need to show the currency symbol also so you can show format and the value is this revenue variable which we have created just now revenue and the format option should be the same way we got the currency rate we are going to get the currency symbol also so we will be using the selected value and the column name and the currency symbol you can go into and then we are going to append it with the format option that is hash you can create two hash and you can put a dot that because we need the decimal values also and we can create just two decimal values we will use it so in this variable we are go we have got the revenue with respect to the country selected we have we have multiplied the revenue with the country selected and we have returned and this format function we have taken the symbol of the country and we have placed it in front of the revenue this is for here the revenue will be shown and the symbol will be shown just in front of we will select the revenue now here we can see that the revenue we haven't selected any column and since we haven't selected any column the revenue with respect to the country is not shown so when you select a country here so there is an error in the data so if you are clicking any of the 
the country table is coming as an error so as you can't display the visual if you go to the data you can see this value of ina it is not numerical or it is not decimal it is uh, the data type of this is text so you don't you can't calculate a text data so if you, if you see this value is being calculated with the purchase revenue so when they calculate it with the purchase revenue it is getting error so you need to go and transform and you have to take away this ina you can go to transform data and you can change it and come you can select the column and you can right click and you can split the column by number of characters and you can select the ones as far as possible from the right side you can take away the three characters and the ina has been taken out and here automatically it has changed the data type and you can just remove this inr column now the data is clean and you can close and apply so now you are having a value column with the numerical decimal input decimal data type you can go to the you can change this column name as value itself you can change it as rate value so definitely there will be an error because definitely there will be an error in the measure because we have changed the column value column header name so we need to go back to the measure and we need to change this to country rate value so now everything is fine we can select the country and we will see how it is going to get generated so we have going to select brazil and you can see it has calculated as well as it has kept the currency symbol in front of the value if you select australia the dollar symbol will be shown same as canada and if you select afghanistan the afghanistan currency is shown in the right because there it might be showing in the right and if you are selecting argentina the desired dollar symbol is shown so if you move down and if you go to the european union the euro is shown if you are going to united states that is also shown so if you want to make it more meaningful if you are not selecting any Thing, nothing is shown here so you can make it in a way that okay if nothing is selected you can use this same measure in rupees you can show it in this revenue country column so you can go to the if you want like that you can go to the column and you can create a, an if format here and you can check whether it's blank is there and if it is blank okay you can just show the sum of the revenue you can place a format rupee symbol in front of that so we can do like that for that we will create another measure we will create a measure for rupee measure rupees equals to you can format it format and the value is sum of sum of x purchase column purchase table and revenue column and the format we are going to the format we are going to give is inside the quotes so to show the rupee symbol here you need to press alt r and alt 4 so alt r and alt 4 we got the rupee symbol here and we don't need that r we will get that rupee symbol here and we will use it as hash hash dot hash zero and before the return we can provide an if statement if is blank and which value is blank if the value this is blank that means the selected value is blank selected value and what we have written is currency country is blank then if it is blank you can show the rupee value there otherwise you can show this formatted value so now we can see the rupee value is shown here and if you are selecting any other value that will be changed okay. it has changed to sweden value and now if you are selecting south korea or south sri lanka sri lanka is also rupees it is moving according to the value written there united states ukraine united kingdom uruguay everything is coming so if you, if you if you don't want anything you just unselect it and the rupee column will be coming here so we can show the selected rate also here in a in a measure we can show so we can create a measure for that and in that measure we can show it as currency rate equals to you can write it like uh, the exchange rate of and you can append it to selected value and the country you can once again append and you can give a space and you can show it as is and once again append it and you can give the selected value and the rate value and usually they will be providing an inr also so we will be provide we will also provide that again so this is the measure so this measure we can select it inside a card label here and you can provide the card here and if you select a thai you select a country and it will be showing 2.66 inr so we can make out okay the value here with with respect to here so we can move the card to this place and if you are selecting any country here it will be shown here the exchange rate of value of the united states is 73.58 inr that means it should be understood that okay this value is because this rupee value into 73.58 so if you if you want to proceed more in this if you are taking away this in here the no value is shown here so you can write a if statement in that measure and you can show the inr value as zero itself so all these things you can do and you can take it more do it hope this will be a helpful video for you have a nice day